Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look, look at our weather here in the Oracle Text through the weekend and all of next week. And on this Friday, we have seen more clouds in the mix and some rain that has been most widespread over the northern sections of the Oracle Text. This rain likely will diminish as we go through this Friday evening and then we'll kind of settle into a dry weather period for Saturday before the rains return late this weekend. Reason for the rain returning this frontal system which is going to gradually ease its way uh, into the Arpletex heading into the latter stages of Sunday. That will increase the threat for showers and thunderstorms which could actually begin to occur as soon as Saturday night. So let's take you through the next few days here with a look at the high-res version of Robin's Toyota Futurecast. And you can see the uh, rain this evening falling apart. We'll see a mostly cloudy sky tonight. Tomorrow, most of us will stay dry, and I think we'll see an abundant supply of sunshine tomorrow, which should be enough to warm much of the area into the mid to even upper 90s before it's all said and done. Uh, we will see the clouds uh, begin to increase tomorrow night. Notice the chance for that scattered shower or thunderstorm that as of right now looks like it's going to be strongest over the western edge of the area by Sunday morning. This activity will weaken during the day Sunday, and then we'll see new scattered thunderstorms develop Sunday evening and Sunday night. And you can see, once again, west of the Oracle, Texas, where those storms could be at their strongest. And this activity, the threat of rain, actually will continue through much of Monday. More on that in a second. Severe weather risk for Sunday, Sunday night. Storm Prediction Center kind of highlighting basically northeast Texas, the northwestern corner of the Oracle, Texas, with a slight risk. Although it does appear as if the risk may be highest a little bit to the west of the Oracle Text, the risk does decline as you look to the east and to the southeast. Uh, as far as that main risk is going to be damaging wind. So here's a look at the wind gusts as we go through Saturday, Saturday night, and Sunday. Again, yellow areas, 30 miles per hour, red is 40, brown is 50, and you can see more color on this map pretty much a little bit to the west of the Oracle Text. So again, uh, as of right now, that's where Futurecast indicating the winds could be at their strongest, but we could have a few severe wet issues with the damaging wind in the Oracle Text as this frontal system comes through late this weekend. Let's go through Sunday night and Monday, and you can see the threat for uh, showers and thunderstorms will gradually shift to the south uh, Sunday night and Monday. Should come to an end Monday night, and then we'll kind of settle into drier as we go through Tuesday and pretty much the rest of next week. Now, as far as rainfall potential, uh, just looked at the model blend and these numbers from Futurecast very close to what the model blend was showing. Uh, so you can see that most of the area in line to see an inch to an inch and a half, and notice the heavier totals probably due to today's rain over the northwestern sections of the Oracle Text where two to three inches will be possible. Keep in mind, these are general numbers we will have localized areas that see less and localized areas that potentially see quite a bit more, especially over the western sections of the area. So that being said, your forecast tonight is looking mostly cloudy. The rain that we've seen today will come to an end. Look for a low temperature in Shreveport at 72, 68 in Texarkana, 69 degrees in Marshall. Tomorrow, it'll be partly cloudy. The heat will be the big story tomorrow, 97 in Shreveport, 99 in Natchitoches, 94 degrees for the uh, high temperature in Texarkana. And your 10-day forecast shows the good chance of rain starting Sunday, continuing Monday. Then we'll cool off upper 80s, low 90s. That'll stick around through the rest of the 10-day period. Lows will eventually ease into the middle 60s. So again, looks like some needed rain on the way as we go through the last half of the weekend and Monday. And then we dry out and uh, get a touch on the hot side as we go through next week.